Hey, if you find yourself in a situation where uh, you think you've got your income in QuickBooks on the profit and loss, if it looks like it's being duplicated or you think you've got double counted income, I'm going to walk you through on the video today on how you can overcome that, how you can get everything corrected, you know, without having to like completely start over on your QuickBooks uh, subscription itself. Uh, I'm going to walk you through a real life client that I took over. They had already done all of the 2021 bookkeeping and they were invoicing their clients um, and then a lot of their payments were actually coming through Stripe so when those deposits came in somehow those transactions were just getting uh, taken to the uncategorized income category and all of their invoices they were creating sales so in effect with the invoice they were creating income and then on the deposit they were creating that income all over again so they had gone through the entire year of 2021 um, with that method of sales from the invoice um, and then the deposit from Stripe hits the bank account and creates uncategorized income. So their income was wildly overstated and that's going to be a problem. You know, if they tried to do taxes with that, they're going to pay tax on a much larger income number. So we want to get that accurate. So watch the video and I will show you how you can get all of that taken care of so we can remove the duplicate income and get everything caught up the way it should be. Thank you so much for watching, visiting our channel. My name is David Ono with Worldwide Bookkeeping. Got a lot of people who are commenting. So um, if you've got any questions on QuickBooks, if we can help you with anything, just leave a comment. We'll try to get that question answered for you. We just appreciate you watching the video. If you know any other business owners, self-employed people using QuickBooks and you think we can be helpful for them, we appreciate it if you could share the channel. But other than that, just let us know how we can help you. Thanks for watching, and we'll go ahead and get into the video. So when I first pulled up the 2021 profit and loss, I could see that the uncategorized income was $78,136. So here's another view of the profit and loss with that uncategorized income, showing that I've whittled the uncategorized income down to $17,943. By the time I made this video, we had made quite a bit of progress. While you're in the profit and loss, go ahead and click on that dollar amount for $17,943. That will open up a window that shows you all the individual transactions in uncategorized income. We're going to focus on this deposit on October 18th for $2,056.16. When we open the bank deposit, we can see in that box there it says one online banking match. We click on that, then we click unmatch. Now we scroll to the bottom of the page, click more, and then we will click delete. It's going to delete that transaction and kick it back into our bank feed. Now we can find that deposit within the bank feed and instead of clicking add in the far right corner we're going to click on stripe and then click find match. Now we're looking for the right transaction to match it to. So now we can see this deposit of $2,056.16 is comprised of three payments. I've put them in that red box down below. So we check the box for all three of those payments that make up that total deposit. So we selected the three transactions, but as we can see, those transactions actually come to a greater total than the deposit we made in the bank. So as these are Stripe transactions, Stripe has taken a bank fee for every single one of those payments. So we have to figure out where is that $62.34 difference between the payments we selected and the total deposit that we made. So if we click on the resolve button, we can now go in and add all of our individual Stripe fees that were taken out by Stripe. So you can see those amounts that I put in, they, in, they total up to that $62.34 difference. Okay, so now we've got everything matched up, but there's one other thing that we have to do. Um, as the previous accountant had gone through and reconciled all of these transactions. We need to make sure that once we deleted these, we need to make sure that we get these re-reconciled. So we go into the check register and we can see where we find those transactions. We see the Stripe bank charges in that red square and then at the very bottom, the total deposit that we made. Now notice where it says the letter C. That means that that transaction has cleared the bank, but it's not reconciled. 
So be careful doing this, but if you click on that letter C, then you can go in, change it to an R, save it, and then that means it's reconciled. Now, after that transaction, we go back to the profit and loss. We can see our uncategorized income is now down to $15,887. And so we have reduced the amount of uncategorized income. So we're no longer double counting that $2,056 deposit that was duplicated. So anyway, that is how you would go through if you've got duplicated income, how you can get everything deleted out to then rematch it without messing things up. If you have any questions, reply to this video, leave some comments below. Definitely let us know if you got any other questions. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.